Covering approximately 5.95% of the Earth's total surface area, or about 20% of the total land area. Africa is Earth's second biggest continent after Asia. African continent covers a surface area of nearly 30,370,000 square kilometers, it is roughly three times the size of Canada, or twice the size of Arctic Ocean. Africa is approximately 14 times as big as Greenland in terms of surface area, three times as big as Europe, and 1.8 times as big as Russia, while the Indian Ocean is 2.3 times as big as Africa. And Earth's moon is 1.25 times as big as Africa in terms of surface area. Africa consists of 54 sovereign nations, of which six are island nations, and are considered to be part of the continent. There are also two disputed areas, which are Somaliland and Western Sahara. Africa's largest country is Algeria, followed by the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and Sudan, while the smallest country is the Seychelles. Nigeria is the most populated country in Africa, followed by Ethiopia, Democratic Republic of Congo and Egypt. Lagos is the most populated city in Africa, followed by Cairo of Egypt, and Kinshasa of the Democratic Republic of Congo. The highest point in Africa is Mount Kilimanjaro in Tanzania, at 58.95 meters, and the lowest point is Lake Ezel in Djibouti, at 515 feet or 157 meters below sea level. Did you know that before the European colonization of Africa, there were more than 10,000 different states, and autonomous groups with distinct languages and culture in Africa? Some of the ancient kingdoms such as the Aksumite Empire, the Ghana Empire, the Mali Empire, and the Songhai Empire were one of the richest and powerful kingdoms of their era. The total population of Africa is estimated to be approximately 1.4 billion, same as that of India, while the whole economy of the 54 states of Africa based on nominal GDP terms is $2.9 trillion, while the economy of India is more than $3.5 trillion, and if we compare the economy based on power purchasing parity or PPP terms, the whole economy of Africa is $8 trillion, while the economy of India is $11.4 trillion compared to Africa. Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt and Algeria make up almost half of Africa's total economy. Covering more than 30 million square kilometers, Africa is a vast continent, with so many geological features. Let's talk about all of them in brief, starting with the Atlas Mountains in northwestern Africa, which separates the Mediterranean and Atlantic coastlines from the Sahara Desert. They extend for more than 2,500 kilometers, from Morocco to Tunisia. After Atlas Mountain comes the Sahara Desert. The Sahara, which covers much of North Africa, spans nearly 9.2 million square kilometers, comparable to the size of China, or six times the size of Mongolia. Then we have the Sahel region. The Sahel is a wide stretch of land running completely across North Central Africa, on the southern edges of the Sahara Desert. This region is the transition zone between the dry areas of the Sahara and the tropical savanna grassland areas of the south. The Sahel spans 5,900 kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean in the west to the Red Sea in the east. After the Sahel we move on to the Congo River Basin rainforests. The second largest rainforest after Amazon rainforests in the world. Located in the west and central part of Africa, surrounding the Congo River and its tributaries, the Congo rainforest covers nearly 2 million square kilometers. The Congo rainforest makes up 20% of the world's remaining rainforest. The majority of the Congo rainforest lies within the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Gabon, Republic of the Congo, Cameroon, Central African Republic, and Equatorial Guinea. Of these six countries, DRC contains nearly 60% of the Congo rainforest. The next important geological feature of Africa is its grasslands or savannas. Grasslands cover almost half of Africa, more than 13 million square kilometers. The savanna is sometimes called the tropical grasslands. These grasslands make up most of Central Africa, beginning south of the Sahara and the Sahel and ending north of the continent's southern tip. From savannas we move on to the Kalahari Desert. The Kalahari Desert is a large semi-arid savanna desert in southern Africa. 
covering a total surface area of 900,000 square kilometers. It is the sixth biggest desert by area on Earth and the second biggest in Africa after the Sahara. It covers nearly all of Botswana, and parts of Namibia and South Africa. The Kalahari Desert merges with the Namib Desert, in the southwest part of Namibia. Now let's talk about the oldest desert on Earth, the Namib Desert. The Namib is a coastal desert situated along the southwestern coast of the African continent. The Namib Desert is considered as the world's oldest desert, and it's estimated to be at least 55 to 80 million years old. The desert has a length of nearly 2,000 kilometers and it covers parts of Angola, Namibia, and South Africa. Okay, enough of the desert, let's move on to the East African Rift Valley, a place where the African continent is splitting into two. The eastern part of Africa is breaking up from rest of the continent, due to the splitting of the African tectonic plate into two new tectonic plates, which are Somali Plate and the Nubian Plate. The breaking up of the African plate started nearly 25 million years ago, and currently, the tectonic plates is splitting at the rate of 6 to 7 millimeters per year. The East African Rift System stretches from the Afar region of Ethiopia to Mozambique. Next on the list of major African geographical features are the African Great Lakes. The African Great Lakes are a series of large and small freshwater lakes that spans across the East African Rift Valley system in Eastern Africa. African Great Lakes consist of Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika, Balawi, Turkana, Albert, Edward, Kivu, Muaru and several other small lakes. This lake spans across 10 countries, which are the Democratic Republic of Congo, Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Balawi, Mozambique, Rwanda, Tanzania, Uganda and Zambia. The total surface area covered by these lakes is approximately 140,000 square kilometers and they hold about 25% of Earth's freshwater and 10% of the world's fish species. Lake Victoria is the largest of African Great Lakes, and is the second largest freshwater lake in the world after Lake Superior by area, covering nearly 70,000 square kilometers. Lake Tanganyika covering 32,900 square kilometers, is the second largest of African Great Lakes, and is the world's second largest freshwater lake by volume and depth, it is also the world's longest freshwater lake with a length of approximately 670 kilometers. Lake Malawi, covering 29,600 square kilometers is the third largest of the African Great Lakes. It is the fifth largest freshwater lake in the world by volume and the ninth largest lake in the world by area. One interesting fact about Lake Malawi is that it has more fish species than any other lake in the world, it has more than 1,000 different fish species. Lake Victoria, Lake Tanganyika and Lake Malawi are the largest of the African Great Lakes. Other lakes than these three covers much less surface area and less volume, they are Lake Turkana, Lake Albert, Lake Edward and Lake Kivo, let's talk about them one by one. Lake Turkana covers 6,405 square kilometers and is the world's largest alkaline lake, and world's fourth largest salt lake by volume. Lake Albert is next and covers 5,300 square kilometers, Lake Edward covers 2,325 square kilometers, while Lake Kivu covers approximately 2,700 square kilometers. The last two major geographical features of Africa that are remaining are the Ethiopian highlands and the Swahili coast. Let's talk about each of them in brief. Ethiopian Highlands is a rugged mountainous plateau region in East Africa, covering much of Ethiopia and central Eritrea. The highlands are divided into northwestern and southeastern portions by the Rift Valley. It is sometimes called as the roof of Africa due to its height and large area. Ethiopian Highlands are home to Africa's 80% tallest mountains. The tallest peak is Ras Dashan, which is 4,550 meters in altitude, and is the tallest mountain peak in Ethiopia. Now let's talk about the Swahili Coast. The Swahili Coast is a coastal area of the Indian Ocean in Southeast Africa, inhabited by the Swahili people. It mainly consists of Kenya, Tanzania, and northern Mozambique, as well as southern Somalia. The Swahili coast stretches about 1,600 kilometers along the Indian Ocean, from Somalia to Mozambique. The Swahili, including their culture, originated from a distinct combination of Arab and African origins. 
these people were merchants and traders who readily took on influences from foreign cultures. Their native language is Swahili, and you probably didn't know it, but Hakuna Matata. A famous phrase from the Lion King movie, is a Swahili expression, meaning no worries. The major rivers of Africa include the Nile, the Congo, Niger, Zambezi, Orange, the Limpopo, and the Senegal River. Although there are several other important rivers in Africa, we will only go through this few main rivers. The Nile is the longest river in Africa and in the world and flows through 11 African countries. It has a length of 6,650 kilometers, and a drainage area of approximately 3.3 million square kilometers. It flows from south to north through eastern Africa. Nile has two main tributaries called the White Nile and the Blue Nile, they merged together in the city of Khartoum in Sudan. From there, the river continues to flow north, through Egypt and finally drains into the Mediterranean Sea. Now we move on to the Congo River which flows through Central Africa. The Congo River is the second longest river in Africa, and the ninth longest river in the world with a total length of 4700 kilometers. Congo River is the second largest river in the world by amount of water discharged in the ocean, second only to Amazon. Congo is also the world's deepest river, at some points the water can be up to 220 meters deep. The Congo River Basin also include the Congo Rainforest, the second largest rainforest on earth after Amazon rainforests, covering approximately 2 million square kilometers. The Niger is the third longest river in Africa, and the 14th longest in the world. It is the main river of Western Africa. The river flows through five countries which are Guinea, Mali, Niger, Benin, and Nigeria, and has a total length of 4,180 kilometers. The Niger has one of the most unusual routes of any of the major rivers in the world. It starts approximately 240 kilometers from the Atlantic Ocean in the Guinea Highlands in southeastern Guinea. Instead of flowing to the nearby Atlantic Ocean, it instead heads inland, away from the sea into the Sahara Desert, it finally drains in the Gulf of Guinea of the Atlantic Ocean. The Zambezi is the fourth longest river in Africa, after the Nile, Congo, and Niger River. It is the longest east-flowing river in Africa. It flows through six countries on its journey, from its source in Zambia to the Indian Ocean, covering nearly 2,700 kilometers in length. The Orange River comes next after Zambezi River in terms of length. The Orange River flows from its source in Lesotho, through South Africa and finally drains into Atlantic Ocean, covering nearly 2,200 kilometers. The Orange River is the largest river in South Africa. The Limpopo is the sixth largest river in Africa after the Orange River. The Limpopo River rises in central southern Africa, and flows eastwards to the Indian Ocean. It is around 1,800 kilometers long. The Limpopo is the second largest river in Africa that drains in the Indian Ocean, after the Zambezi River. It forms the boundary between Zimbabwe and the South Africa, and part of the border between Botswana and South Africa. The Senegal River is the next longest river covering nearly 1,086 kilometers in length in West Africa. Senegal River flows through Senegal, Mauritania, and Mali and drains into the Atlantic Ocean. Much of Senegal River marks part of the border between Senegal and Mauritania, 